Also, visual proof of why I should not be left alone with scissors. I got, I got bangs! bangs Do I look more like a hobbit now, Frodo? Do I look like your people? Goodies. Okay, I, I, I gotta put these back down. Excuse me. Beep beep. So a few months ago, I did a video where I went to Target and I picked out a bunch of modern items and then I took them home and tried to style them more vintage. I wanted to make that a series where I went into modern clothing stores, yada yada yada. But I will admit it is hard to do that and not submit to fast fashion. I thought a solution to this would be to use secondhand clothing. So Thread Up is an online thrifting store where you can get secondhand items for up to 90% off. I have been wanting to work with them for a very long time, ever since over a year ago when I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Anastasia Louise, do a video with Thread Up. So when I got the email that they were interested in working with me, I think I squealed a little. Because <laughs> I think what they're doing is really, really cool and good. A lot of the brands on their websites are very high name brands and very recognizable brands. So I thought I would apply my modern to retro challenge to this and pick out a bunch of items and then try to show you how I can style them vintagely. And as an added bonus, they are giving you guys 30% off of your first order if you click the link below and use the code Rachel. You don't know how long I've been wanting to say something like that. I say it ironically all the time. Oh my god! How long was this happening and you didn't tell me? Nasty! So first up is this pretty simple top by Zara. Really comfy, stretchy, long sleeve, and then it has a little necktie, which you know I love. And one of the things I like about Thread Up is that they give you what it originally was for the estimated retail and then what you actually got it for. So this top was originally $54 and the thread up price was $15. $54? <laughs> no thank you. So tops like this are very, very easy to style. Black tops pretty much go with everything. <laughs> and then this tie just gives it a little vintage flair or 1800s flair, I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> so I figured I could pair it with a skirt or even high-waisted trousers would give it a nice vintage feel. Now Mr. Blue how do you open? It's been a while since you've seen me struggle open a box. Ah. Next is a vest. If you're surprised, you must be new here. <laughs> So this was probably the most expensive thing that I got. Um, it is originally by Beeb, Bib, Beeb, Bibi. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that just shows you how much I know about high fashion names. <laughs> so the estimated original price for this was $149, and the thread up price was $44.99, which is a little bit high for thread up, I've noticed. Um, it is just so nice, and I needed it. This will be very, very easy to style. Um, it kind of has a vintage feel already, and it's kind of that wool tweed, which will go with everything that I own. A long sleeve under it, maybe a collared shirt with a tie, or even just an off the shoulder peasant blouse, and then either trousers or a skirt underneath. Vests are just my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> So next up is this really flowy skirt, and this is originally from Forever 21. So the estimated original price for this was $20, and the thread up price was... I'm not looking at my cheat sheet, what are you talking about? $5.99. So that is pretty sweet. Flowy, kind of sheer, beautiful, neutral skirt, which if you have been with me for a little while, you know that my wardrobe is slowly transforming into just tans, neutrals, earth tones, 
greens. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for this because I want my spring and summer wardrobe basically just to look like I am Elizabeth Bennet. <laughs> So next up is the cutest dress ever, originally from The Gap. And the estimated original price for this was $55, but the thread up price was $14.99. This says it's a size 12, so I think it'll be a tiny bit big on me. I kind of wanted it to be big, um, so that way I can cinch it in the middle, but I'm definitely willing to take in the waist if I want it to be a little bit more flattering. These kind of pinafore dresses are really, really easy to style. You can even just wear them with no shirt underneath if it's like summer. Much like a vest, you can wear a collared shirt, pretty much any long sleeve shirt you want, or an off the shoulder peasant top. Okay, so the last package I think has the most stuff in it. So first up, this simple black top. So this was originally from American Apparel, which was always the store in college that I would go look at but never buy because a simple tee would be like 50 bucks. So the estimated retail price of this is $24 and the thread up price was $12. And it is just, again, a very stretchy, comfy tee and it reminds me a lot of Audrey Hepburn, so I think that's kind of how I'm gonna style it. And maybe a scarf around the neck, I just think it's gonna be really, really versatile and easy to style. A cute blue dress. So the estimated retail on this dress was $71. <laughs> Thread up's price was $11.99, which is a crazy difference. I got this mainly because I like the top. Um, I'm not too crazy about the bottom. A lot of you know my trick is to take a dress like this that maybe I love the top, but I'm not super obsessed with the bottom and then just wear a skirt around the waist so it's just the top that you see. And I think that's one of my favorite tricks to make something that's modern look vintage because a lot of dresses look very vintagey up top and then at the bottom it's just it just gives you a lot more options so next up this is a chadwick's skirt and the estimated retail price on this was $27, but ThreadUp had it for $8.99. But yeah, I don't know. I just think this will twirl really nicely. And that's very important to me. I specifically like to wear these kind of shirts with white tops or cream tops or anything around the same color range, but they can also go well with black tops and navy and green and whatever you want basically. So next up is this freaking beautiful skirt. So the original estimated price for this was $315, but the thread up price was $37.99. Yet again, I just want to be Lizzie Bennett. This is perfect for prancing around in the fields, waiting for Mr. Darcy to come tell me he loves me, even though he's being a douche. The last thing that I got are these flats, and these are originally from The Gap, and the estimated original price of these was $40, but ThreadUp had them for $13, which is nice. So I have almost the same exact pair of shoes in black from Pin Up Girl Clothing, but whereas most of my clothes are now tans, neutrals, browns, and earth tones, oh my, I thought these would fit perfectly. Whoop, cut the sh And that's it. I am so excited. I am so glad that ThreadUp even approached me and wanted to sponsor this video. So thank you so much to ThreadUp. So yeah, I basically just wanted to show you guys how 
easy it can be to take modern items and schmooze them into looking vintage, which is definitely one of the things that I do all the time. Because let's face it, vintage is freaking expensive sometimes. Like I said, they are giving you guys 30% off your first purchase if you click the link below and use the code RACHEL. I feel like a real YouTuber. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Taking modern clothings, completely modern clothing, and modern clothings, where you can get secondhand items. Oh my goodness, wow. Maybe with a tie? Oof, wow. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go wrong. Just a skinny leg. You're gonna take me home tonight. Oh. oh, it got so dark in here.